Toby, breakfast is ready. Come on down. Tasty breakfast burrito. Making that weird face again. You, he's drooling. So the plan for today is to enjoy our stay here at the beach for a little bit longer, then slowly make our way over to Canyon Lake, where a viewer of our channel has hooked us up with a campsite for tonight. So that's cool. Um, and we're gonna go check out Canyon Lake, more water. <laughs> it's a good 90s look. Thanks. Instagram actually told us that we should hit this up. So I looked at it online and it sounded like there's a cool exhibition on, so we're back at San Antonio seeing some stuff we didn't see last time. Hey Shelby, this art this art is pretty cool, don't you think? Does the ice make the room cold or is it air conditioned specifically just in this room? But not the rest of the gallery? No. Because the rest of the gallery is not cold. It's just this one room. His name is Champ and he just likes to pull my arm off. Champ. Champ. What are you looking at? What's this? <laughs> Sorry, I, it's because I added milk to your coffee so it's really cool now. Halcyon. Carefree, untroubled, and prosperous. Apparently that's what it means. Sounds a little pompous to me, but... I thought so too. Coffee's alright. It's really pretty. It's a pretty place, for sure. Okay. <laughs> Where does 
human trafficking? They look really happy about it. I'm a little confused. I probably shouldn't be filming this. Is this Girl Gone Wild? Is this Girls Gone Wild? Is this the bang bus? They're, they're yelling. They're wooing. Oh, what, is, what is that? Logo on the side of this? What is this? What is this? River Sport. Did you just have your day made because there was a bunch of half naked girls in the back of that truck? It's a pretty good day. Definitely brought my day from a uh, Six up to a seven. On a scale of I don't know. Isn't that what the van life's all about? It's what the van life is all about. I, t I told Shelby since the start that based on Instagram alone, uh, my van life experience should be full of hot girls in bikinis on the beach all the time. And I mean, like, I've got one hot girl in sometimes bikini if I'm lucky. So this is our host for the night, his name is Andrew, he watches our videos and messaged us and said, hey, come hang out with me at Canyon Lake and uh, set you up a nice little campsite and everything. So really generous of him, really nice and uh, I'm looking forward to it, this place is beautiful. Like the, the group I work with now, they they uh, we you know about once a week we have conference calls and we turn our webcams on for a little bit of it, and uh, it's funny because I'm always the guy in the RV. Yeah. You know everyone else has these nice homes. There's one guy in Jersey, Chicago, Dallas, and 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 uh, other other states, and then there's this guy in Texas who lives in his RV. And, you know, he's like, what, what's yeah. that behind you? Oh, that's a fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> you know I promote it every time I every chance I get. People think we're crazy. No. But, uh, you know, the funny thing is, it, it's not really crazy, it's just easy. It's actually really easy. It is yeah. really easy. I mean, you know, you have to battle a couple things, like I'm sure you've just dealt with, with mail. Yeah. Um, you know, we have a postal box in the nearest town, and, you know, we changed our address there. My driver's license goes there. And uh, I asked him the other day, because we were considering moving somewhere else for a couple of months. And he goes, oh, yeah, we have people do that all the time. Just, you know, give us your forwarding address about once a week, once or two weeks, we'll just forward everything to you. It's like, okay, that'll work great. Easy peasy. Yeah. Annotated Audrey on Instagram just posted she was watching our vlogs and she made us some fan art and it's fucking awesome. That's amazing. She even got Champ in our van. That's amazing. That's so amazing. That's so cool. I gotta share that. We're totally famous now. She even got your mole. <laughs> and she got my little septum. She got Champ's pretty little eyes. That's so sweet. I gotta follow her. I'm gonna follow her. <laughs> so th there's a scientific experiment here to explain whether the, s the shape, i.e. squareness, of a marshmallow has a difference in flavor. <laughs> and there's a Reese's peanut butter cup in there. Yeah, that's oh, important. hell no. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, so just the marshmallow by itself because it oozed out and I had to stop it. <laughs> well, part uh, one of the review. Part one. Yeah, su Subcategory, uh, marshmallow. <laughs> um, flavor is the same, despite the uh, upcharge in the uh, in the cost of. Oh, it's oozing. Hang on. <laughs> but it oozes because usually, yeah. Usually the circular ones just stay in the middle. Oh, that's ooziness. 
That's good stuff. I love burnt marshmallows. For On a scale of one to food. ooze, that's uh, definitely That's ooze plus plus. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call that a positive review. Mm. That's <laughs> noms. Uh, ultra nom nom. Oh, that's so much sugar. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking about how sugar my, my beer is right now, and I don't know if I could handle Your beer? more with it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <What was> that? <laughs> There's like a jellyfish coming out the side of me. <laughs> I don't want a, I don't want the dress marshmallow part. Open your eyes. Surprise, we've been here for ten years. Thank you.